In this video, we will review how to transfer the 3D physical model of a steel girder bridge in open bridge modeler to leap bridge steel. And I will start by adding a new standalone group and naming it module 9 LBS for leap bridge steel. I hit OK and I will start open bridge modeler. On the Open Bridge Modeler main page with workspace set to Imperial Standards and work set to Open Bridge Training, I will go to Browse and in Module 9 Interoperability folder, I will select Steel Girder Bridge DGM. And for the mismatch alert, I will select the second option, use Active Workspace and Work Set. And the steel girder bridge DGM file opens with a straight two span steel girder bridge defined in it. I will go to utilities tab and select leap bridge steel send to tool to open the data transfer report and send the model to leap bridge steel. In the data transfer information window with the model transfer report option enabled, I can review the assumptions made when sending the physical model to the analytical software. And in this window, I will click OK to send the model to Libbridge Steel. Libbridge Steel opens. And I will click OK when prompted to confirm the successful data transfer. In Libbridge Steel, first I will turn off the display of the roadway and I will fit the view to review the transferred model in the software. The next step will be running analysis on the model, and for that, I will scroll down. To find the analysis section at the bottom of the list and click on analysis. In the analysis window I will keep the analysis type as grillage and with all the default settings I will hit run analysis button. Other analysis types available in Leap still are line girder and finite element analysis. As the analysis continues I can see its status in the stat analysis and design window. Once the analysis is complete, a message box appears showing that the analytical model was run successfully. I hit OK here. And in the analysis window, I can view the results graphically. So I can select the stage, choose between showing load cases or load combinations. For the diagrams, I have the shear, moment and displacement options. I can view the results for all girders or just for a single member and I can also adjust the scale of the diagrams. The show reports button is to display the dead load, live load or response spectrum analysis results in table form. And now I will close the analysis window and continue with the design step. So I go to the analysis section and click on the design button. In the design results reporting window, I will hit run design check. And once the design check is completed, reports will become available. So I hit OK in the design check ran successfully message box. 
from the reports I will select summary under design and in the preview window I need to click submit in this report the threshold performance ratio is 1 so I'm looking for anything below 1 but there is nothing standing out all texts in this report are satisfied so I will close the preview window, exit the design window and I will continue with member optimization. For that I will go to the member definition tool and here I will perform design optimization for the first beam. So I select selected member. When the member optimization is complete for member 01, I click OK in the dialog box and I will go to design results. For the top flange in the mid section of the beam above the pier, the required area is more than the provided area. This is happening in rows 28, 29 and 30. The input area is 21 while the required area is 22.5. And to fix this, I will go back to the previous window. Here I will change the member type from web to top flange. And for the third and fourth row where this problem is occurring, I will change the top flange thickness to 1.75. I will repeat it for the fourth row. The graphic display is also updated instantly. And now I will copy this information from member 01 to the rest of the beam. So I go to copy member definition to group 01 and select all members. Now all members will have the same top flange thickness of 1.75 in the middle of the beam. And as I'm working in the standalone workflow of OpenBridge Designer, I can send the changes in the dimensions of the steel plate girders back to OpenBridge Modeler and the physical model will be updated accordingly.